In this episode of Vivian Tries, there is adult language. If you're easily offended, please turn the video off now. Hello, you guys, and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries, you guys, I'm wearing the famous Darth Vader sweater. I wear it once a year for special occasions, and this is a special occasion. Now, there is a warning when I wear this sweater. He makes breathing noises, and it might scare you. It's going to scare the hell out of me because it's only when you touch this little spot right here. And I touch it against my desk throughout the video, so just be warned that I may jump, you may jump, you may hear things, okay? So on this Vivian Tries, we are trying this guy, Zero Water. I have literally been interested in this product for years. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different types of water that we're gonna test with the Zero Water pitcher. Is this called a pitcher? What is this called? Yeah, 20 cup pitcher to be exact. So we're gonna put all these fancy bougie as waters through here to see if it really takes things out of it. And we're also gonna expose some damn water to see if they're really as clean as they claim before we even put it through here. The cool thing about buying any of the zero water products, the pitchers or any of the filters is it comes with the actual meter so that you can measure the water. So I thought, perfect opportunity. Let's expose some of these foals. Bougie as water. It's just water from Dallas, Texas. Allegedly, I don't know. <laughs> this is water straight out of my faucet, which we're gonna test with the little meter. We're gonna run it through the filter and then we're gonna test it again. And I'm scared because this is the water running through my house. And it better be clean. There better not be any kind of iron, bacteria, <laughs> fungalitis. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a word, but that's a word we made up. No fungalitis in this one. The other ones, I don't give a shit because I'll have the option to not buy them. But this is going in my house. This is running through my pipes. You know what I'm saying? So this is the most critical to me. Cross your fingers, pray for me. Because I don't, I'll have to move. I'll sell the house. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Listen, my poor mother, sorry mom, I'm about to expose you. Some salespeople came to the door and sold her a whole water unit to clean her water in her house. My poor mother, they scared the shit out of her, telling her that <laughs> there was feces, chlorine, fungalitis, <laughs> all kinds of shit in her water. She was scared. So she said, okay. I said, mom, you never buy anything when they're using scare tactics, okay? So here we are, mom. Instead of buying that whole unit for your house, boom. If this thing works, 30 bucks, buy you this. So let me tell you what other water I have here. The water out of my faucet. I have this bougie ass water right here in a glass bottle. This shit better not be from Arlington, Texas. I swear to God, this better not have no fungalitis in it. <laughs> or feces, allegedly, I don't know. Do y'all remember this? Oh, this is nostalgia right here, right? Oh, clearly Canadians coming back. I know that this probably doesn't have any feces or fungalitis in it. This to me is kind of like a soda pop, right? This to me is like you're claiming that you're like some kind of Arctic water from the North Pole, super clean. <laughs> you know, that's this bougie ass water right here. But the reason I got this was because I want to run it through here to see if it takes the flavor off because this is not only sparkling, it also has, what did I get? Peach flavoring in it. Do you think it'll taste like nothing when I run it through here? Remember when I did that life filter with like a straw for dirty ass water? Should I do dirty water? Then I have this one, Iceland water, see? They trick you cause you're like, oh, Iceland. That's clean, filtered from the fucking stream. Little elves are cleaning it up top of the mountain. <laughs> Remember that diamond water that girl was trying to sell on that show? What was it? Shaws of Sunset? <laughs> whatever listen do you boo but come on now i'm gonna sell y'all some diamond water so we'll test that before and after the zero filter that's expensive water too listen i'm not paying more than a dollar for a bottle of water this is also similar to the clearly canadian except it's not sweet it's just sparkling water with this one is cran raspberry flavoring in it 
all natural. We'll put this through the filter as well and taste test it before and after. And then this bougie has water. They're just trying all kinds of things now to get us, huh? Because we used to just drink this. And then they scared the shit out of us till there's fungalitis and <laughs> we started buying this. Listen, this is a, a trillion dollar business. <laughs> this water industry is a trillion dollar water industry. That's why I'm gonna start selling some diamond water. But now we have this fancy bougie as water right here in a fucking box. <laughs> so is this water from Dallas, Texas and you're just making us seem like it's all bougie because of the packaging? Or is it the packaging plus the water inside it? I got a lot of questions about this water. Besides the water in this cup, the last one I have down there, I am the most excited about. Black water. Have you guys seen this? It's been around a couple of years, but what the fuck? What is this? Mom, this is what she told you was running through your faucets. This looks like it has fungalitis, feces, all of the kind of things that they try to scare you, but it doesn't. Supposedly, this is like, clean, beautiful, I don't know what's in here, minerals, holy water right here. And it's throwing you off. See, they don't know what else to do to get your attention so that you can contribute to that trillion dollar water business. It's not trillions, it's billions, but it'll soon be trillions because we're suckers <laughs> We buy into this shit. Here's the question of the damn day. First, is it clean? We're gonna check with the little meter. Number two, when I run this through this super filtrated, amazing, holy water, cleaning, you're going to heaven filter, is this gonna turn clear and look like this? Or is it gonna stay black? What do you think? This filter has five stages or something I was reading on it. That's why it's called zero water because it cleans everything out of the water. I almost forgot. Here's the backup test. We can't just take these fools word for it, right? They could tell us all day that their little fucking meter works, but you provided us the meter. So this is the backup test. I bought this at Lowe's. It's just a little thing that we dip in the water to test it just the same as the little meter. This is the backup. Now the problem with buying one of these large pitchers is that it takes up a lot of room in the fridge, right? We had a pitcher like this and it lasted in the fridge for like three weeks and I'm like, okay, you're out. I can't have you cluttering up my refrigerator. Those are the five stages of filtration that are happening with this damn thing. It cleans everything, lead, chlorine. Okay, ooh, here's the fancy filter. That's huge, isn't it? Ooh, here it is. Okay, so this stuff has all been rinsed off. Now this thing, normally you have to run it water through it a couple times before you use it, but it doesn't say that. Wow, this thing is huge. From the top, it looks like a normal filter, right? And it's pretty heavy. So I'm thinking we have to remove the bottom or something. There's literally one tiny, can you see it? Pinhole at the bottom. How long is this gonna take to filter water? Like an hour? It removes 99.6% of dissolved solids. So it tells you don't do this. You gotta screw it in from the bottom like this. Okay, pretty easy. You put it in here. I'm already not happy about the little pinhole you have at the bottom. What if I have company coming over? Is it gonna be like, okay, everybody take a shot of water. <laughs> That's all the water I have getting filtered per hour. To use this little thing is pretty easy. Okay, let's see. Ooh, I'm gonna take this to everybody's house. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna start a business checking waters. Vivian's water cleaning filtration system.com. Boom. How fancy is this? There is an on and off button and a hold button. Number one. Let's try it with this water because this is the most important water. Okay, ready? Oh, you don't have to even hold it. Like as soon as you put it in, look. Oh my God, what does that say? 215, 215 what? Things, chemicals. It keeps changing and now it's at 219. What, the longer it sits in the water, the more things it finds? What? I would think it would find it immediately. You have to stir it to stir up the stuff. 222, found some more things. <laughs> That's weird. So the hold is just to hold the reading. So 
two, two, two. So what does that mean? Is there 220 dissolved solids in there? I don't know. Now let's try it with this guy. Now this one only cost me like $13 and it brings 10 different tests. They're instant. See, and you have a little color chart there. This one is actually laid, sorry. <laughs> oh, this one even put a little thing. Open this. Oh, to the line. Oh, I missed. <laughs> oh shit. Now we'll take our pregnancy test. We'll dip it for two seconds. All the way down to cover all the little tabs. So we can see who's the daddy. <laughs> I see it. Okay, that's about two seconds, right? Okay. Ooh, where's my color chart? Based on this test, it doesn't look completely scary. The scary part about this little machine is that it's not breaking it down for me, right? It's just giving me a number. Two, two, two. Is it more of one thing than the other? Like, that's the problem with this. I like this one because it's broken down. It's giving us six different things and I know what's going on. Now let's run the water through the filter and then we'll check it again. Okay, it's not gonna take three years. It's coming. And it came out clean, so I guess you don't have to clean the filter. I want to check to make sure there ain't 220 to a nothing in there. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm not trying to get pregnant. <laughs> zero, zero, zero. It's not zero. There's less shit in it. I mean, not literal shit, but there's less stuff in it. Solids, dissolved solids. There's only 19 now. 19. It's supposed to be zero right? Zero Water is the name of your company, I believe. Not let me taste it. I'll tell you if I taste the difference. It just tasted like water. Number two, Iceland Water. This time, I'm going to taste it before and then after. That way, I have a better comparison. Okay, a little there. Let's test it. It's set to zero. God dang it, you scare me. <laughs> wow. I don't think I have enough water. I need more water. What does that say? It says 39. Wow, so the shit I was drinking in my house, that's really dirty. Oh my God. So this is really clean water. This is not bougie, it's actually good. <laughs> you might wanna start buying this one. Now this guy. Now even just thinking about my water having 222 kind of freaks me out. I mean, this one straight out of the bottle only had 40. Mom, you might want to call that lady back. <laughs> Tell her to sell you that thing again. <laughs> Let's grab some water out of here. Oh. Okay. I was already impressed with 40. Let's see what this reads. That read zero. How come my house water didn't read zero? We're gonna have to do that one again. <laughs> I'm just thinking, is my house water that contaminated that this shit doesn't even clean it to zero? Because this one, it's gone. It's zero. Okay, let me taste them so I can see. There's the dirty one. It's not dirty. It has a score of 39. Ready? This one. I just spilt it all over Darth Vader. It's pretty close, but I guess this one tastes a little cleaner. Number three. It just says artisanal water. What does that mean? So fancy. I am gonna use the bottle again though. That's pretty cool. Okay, so first we will test just out of the bottle. This one is cleaner than the Iceland. This one is only 20. Ready? It's going pretty fast considering it's going through five stages of filtration here. I'm still like triggered by the one that's coming out of my house. <laughs> that who, 
Listen, this is a good experiment. Just get one of these. I think they sell them on Amazon for pretty cheap. If it got Iceland from 40 to a zero, this one should be easy. Yep, zero. How come you didn't clean the one from my house to zero? Now, taste test. Super clean. Listen, if I didn't taste the one at my house that has <laughs> a badass score, I'm not gonna taste anything in these. That score is too close. So this got a perfect score. Iceland got a perfect score. My house failed. Number four. Now the fancy boxed water, which also kind of like the glass one, I think it's just gimmicky. Why does it have to be in something different? Let's test this just straight out of here. It's at zero. Almost a perfect score. It's a three. Do I even need to run it through this? Listen, that's pretty damn close to perfection, don't you think? So far, the box is winning. Okay, I don't need to put all of it in there. A three, that's pretty damn good. What is in my water at 222? Here we go. I always thought this was like a gimmicky thing this zero water, but so far, I mean, I just still don't know what it means, but <laughs> I'm impressed. Are you impressed? Zero. See? The taste test before. Perfect. Hey, hey, I was talking a lot of shit about this little box, but even before cleaning, I can taste a difference. So far, that's my favorite, clean or dirty. Number five, LaCroix. I know that it's in a can. I know it's sparkling water, but it should still be clean, right? Shit, this one more than anything should be clean. I'm not really even testing it to see if it cleans it. I wanna see if this amazing five-step filtration filter is gonna take away that cranberry raspberry flavor, scent, whatever that I have with this one. Set to zero. Oh, is dirty. Don't play. We're at 31. Now let's run it through the filter. I hope I did not ruin the filter. It better not. This is expensive. You better be able to handle sparkling water. What do you think is gonna happen? It's going slower though than the normal water. There's still a lot of it in here. That's interesting, right? Slow down. We'll try it with this. Wait, it's not carbonated. It's not, oh, what? There's. Is this thing taking the carbonation out of this? Holy shit. This one has bubbles, this one doesn't. Let me smell it real quick. What? I do not smell cranberries and raspberries. That took the smell and the carbonation out. Oh my God, okay, listen, mom, don't invest in a house one. Buy this one. Okay, let's see. Zero. I'm gonna taste test both of them. First, the one out of the can. Mm, delicious, I love that one. That's one of my favorites. Okay, this one, I don't smell anything. I'm in shock about that. Now taste. Oh my freaking God. I thought it might take out the carbonation, but I did not think it was gonna take out the cranberry raspberry flavoring. Number six. Let's try the Clearly Canadian next. I need to call my mom, my sister, my brother. They need to watch. If you're not watching this video, what the hell are you doing with your life? But I'm gonna call them anyway because everybody needs one of these. Zero water, call me. We're about to sell a lot of water filters here. This is middle school all over again. <laughs> okay, 
So, let's pour it in here first. Got it. Oh. Why is this going nuts? 339. Carbonated Canadian spring water. Okay, should work the same as the other one. You're really Canadian? You can get somebody pregnant. <laughs> I don't know what's in there. Is that what gives it the flavor though? Is that what that is? Maybe. Is it the sugar? Does it, yeah, it has pure cane sugar. Is that what it is? See, this is kind of tricky because you don't know what it is exactly. It just gives you a random score. It might be the, the sugar. Okay, smell. No peaches. Zero. Listen, I'm impressed with this thing. <laughs> Get one. <gasps> nothing. Nothing. I taste nothing. 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 Number seven. Now the true test. I know the filter will filter out the smells and the germs and the floaties. What about that black color? What's gonna happen? Kinda looks like sewage water, doesn't it? <laughs> They'll sell us anything. And we'll put it on our face and rub it everywhere. <laughs> and drink it. What is this? It looks like coffee. Cold brewed. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. This better be zero. Look, you guys. Let me hold it. What does that say? 64. It's not zero. Do we need some of this stuff in there? <laughs> Maybe we don't want to fil filter out all the goodness that's in there. Maybe we want that shit in there. Keep that immune system strong. What you think? Ready? Okay, let's go. <gasps> Are you guys seeing this? I think that's the ultimate test right there. Okay, so it's not completely like clear, but it's pretty good. Zero. Let's taste it. Coffee? I'm just kidding. It tastes like nothing. It's just water. <laughs> I don't know what's in there. I don't know. Let's see. This one. Water. Okay, now I'm letting it sit there a little longer. Look, not as impressive. Number eight. And just for fun, let's try some wine. I don't know that this is gonna test a zero because it's obviously wine. It's still cleaner than that clearly Canadian. 146. Now let's run it through here. That's enough. I have a feeling the first little bit that comes out through the filter because it is a five stage filter. I feel like the first part that's coming out is actually the water or whatever you had through it first. Does that make sense? So far it's crystal clear. I made sure to clean this filter really good and make sure all the water was out of it. So it didn't completely give us crystal clear water, but let's taste it. Let's give it a grade. Remember it was at 146, 13. Let's hold it. So the final reading is 13. So I didn't clean it completely. Now I'm not gonna taste it because I don't drink. I know that's shocking to some of you guys, but I'll smell it. Let's see. I have to drink it. <laughs> it smells like nothing and it's I'm spilling it all over the place. Okay, ready? Okay, no, that's alcohol. It's still cleaner than what we put in it, but I can definitely taste the alcohol. Normal people are not gonna use it for wine or black water or clearly Canadian, obviously. This was just an extreme example to really test out this five stage zero water filter. Now, as far as the waters are concerned, I'm gonna say that I'm still the most impressed with this guy right here. I'm gonna give the little carton of water five Vivian heads. So I'm gonna say this one is second. After that, 
this bougie as water and then actually you know what this Iceland water and this glass water pretty much the same I would give this one three Vivian heads this one two Vivian heads the clearly Canadian it is what it is is soda pop this <laughs> you have to love sparkling water to love that before I tell you my final thoughts on the zero water filter itself let's run some more tap water through this to see if we can get it to zero because it cleaned these but it didn't clean that tap water still the same score you see 220 I'm gonna pour this entire cup through the filter then we'll test it again and it better be zero let's see this needs to be zero now this is how I'm gonna use it in real life I'm not really going to put LaCroix through here. <gasps> it worked that time. It's zero now. You guys see it? Let me hold it. Darth. <laughs> Shh. I don't know why it didn't work the first time. But I am impressed with the zero water filter. So I'm going to give this guy five. Vivian heads. Question time. What is the one item that you consider to be your all time favorite that you reviewed? You're the best. Thank you. I can't just pick one because I've had quite a few really great products. They're the same ones I always mention, but the Blue Diamond, Red Copper, Ninja Foodie. I mean, there's been some really good products. The Flawless Stash one. The Flawless Leg. Listen, there's a lot of fails, but there has been quite a few products that I absolutely love. So it's hard to just say one. Can you try more cooking products? Those are my favorite videos. Of course, what I try to do is I try to kind of rotate. I'll do an As Seen on TV. I'll do a Dollar Tree. I'll do a Japanese dollar store. I'll do a cooking one. I'll do a beauty one. I try to kind of rotate through them so that I'm not doing the same thing every week and you guys get tired of it. So yes, those videos are always on the list and always coming. You guys just have to watch all of them until we get to your favorite one. Who is your favorite rapper? type of music. Hmm. I love Post Malone, but my absolute favorite type of music, I guess genre of music would be reggaeton because I'm Puerto Rican. Not just because I'm Puerto Rican, because I love it. And I guess I would have to say J Balvin because of this. <laughs> I actually saw him. He was like, six feet away from my face. His music is amazing. J Balvin, I think would be my absolute favorite and Maluma. He's also one of my favorites. Are you gonna test flawless finishing brows? I forgot if you have already. I have already. See, right there. You gotta go watch it. You'll be surprised with the results. Would you rather fight a hundred bunny sized T-Rexes <laughs> or one T-Rex sized bunny? <laughs> Some of you guys participate in this one. I'm going to say I would rather fight <laughs> one T-Rex sized bunny instead of a hundred. Can you imagine a hundred coming at you? One giant one. They can't move that fast. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> We're gonna take his ass down. Tacos or burritos? Tacos, crunchy tacos too, not soft tacos. Okay guys, so that is all for questions today. If you wanna leave me a question, you can do so in the comments of this video. You can also leave it on my Instagram account, on Twitter, on my Facebook account. Make sure you're following me on those platforms as well. I go through, gather all the questions, and possibly answer one of yours in a future video. All right, you guys, so that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up for me in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen a cool As Seen on Television product that you think I should try and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.